Hey there, it's Natasha and I was very, very excited to receive our Kangen water machine. What we didn't realize, our it, the adapters that we received with the machine didn't fit our faucet and we live in an apartment, so our apartments refused to accommodate and refused to change faucets, so we had to come up with a solution and be very resourceful. So it took us time how to figure out we did. So I, hopefully this video will uh, help you to set up your machine so you can start drinking water right away. And I'm going to flip the camera right now so I want to show what faucet that we have. And if you have the same, just watch this video till the end. As you can see, we have a faucet with a sprayer like this. And only one it's one stand, so there is no any extra holes or in a granite countertop. So we had to weather to hook up to find um, some kind of transmitter to connect to this top of the faucet or um, to go a different route, which is my fiance Greg is going to show what parts do we need uh, and how he's going to hook up. So stay with me. All right, guys, the parts that you're going to need is an adapter, basically, that plugs into the main water line that splits it off to two. In our case, we needed this because one line is going to the dishwasher, the other line is going to go to the water machine. Still has the same valve, so it still can be shut on and off. We put that on. We use some extra line because we're going to run it from under the sink to the top rather than through the sink because of the way that this is set up. And once that's all done, it's a direct feed going into the machine, so we bypass this because of the fact that we could not use these adapters because our sink has coarse threads. All these are fine threads. So we had no other choice but to do it this way. Well, it's a great solution. What are these little things? These are just some compression fittings that you will use to attach these lines so that they don't get pinched off into the valve. And, and that's all they are. And how much does it cost to you? So all of this together with the little Teflon tape that I just bought, it's probably 20 bucks. That's good. So in general, it's you see the sink and you see the faucet. So guys, if you have the same problem, just um, you buy these parts and we're going to write descriptions under the video of what you exactly need and just watch the process. For beginning, it's very important to shut the water off so it wouldn't leak. Oh my goodness, which way okay, it's done. So basically, we replaced the old valve with a new valve that has two outlets. So now, Greg, what are you doing right now? I'm putting the nut onto the new line that goes onto the line that's going to go to our machine and has the little compression fitting here that when you tighten it up it matches it down and it actually seals it. All right. So basically we split it water line on two. One goes to the machine and one is actual cold water. All right guys so we connected now uh, we connected a hose under the sink and we connect it with the machine, with the Kangen machine, and we use this uh, switch that you had to buy. Uh, in uh, We purchased it in Lowe's. So it's like plastic switch that uh, helps us to switch between regular tap water. And if we need to use, we can turn that switch and we can use... And we can use our water. And then just easily turn it back and then we use just the regular water again it's not perfect but again in our conditions when we don't have anything and any other holes and we can use just one hose with the under sink uh, you have to be really resourceful and do it your best so now we can drink our water we enjoy it we have great results hopefully this will help and if you have questions just reach out to me I will see you in the next video.